637 here. Happy Friday. I'm so Happy glad Friday. it's here. It's, it's been a week, hasn't it? Been a long time coming, hasn't it? <laughs> but uh, there's so much. We've got nice weather going on, mm -hmm. for one. And it everything's turning green and blooming. It looks really good outside. It's blooming. Part of it, we've had some really warm temperatures here as of late. The blue bonnet's getting an early yeah. start. They're expected to be a pumper crop this year, too. Check out this picture, Joey. You know, my dad's a loyal viewer of the show, likes to chime in. He took this near Schulenburg. That's south of Rockdale by a couple of counties, so down towards I-10 between Houston and San Antonio. Send it in that picture of the blue box. Look at the covered field. I'm sure many locations in Central Texas will look like this here soon. So when they start popping out, send me your blue bonnets. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram there. I'd love to see your pictures. love to show them here on air as those continue to pop out here across Central Texas. And mark your calendar. We have some changes coming. Of course, the clocks spring forward here as we get into Saturday night into Sunday. Our average last freeze on record, March 11th. We're about to be past that. Spring officially starts on March 20th, but we have seen freezes as late as April 15th. Hopefully we don't see one and we can keep those blue bonnets blooming all the way into spring, but there is some colder air on the way. I'll show you in the 10 day here in just a few minutes. You can see a couple of showers out there currently. Some showers near Fairfield, also northern Limestone County. That all pushing down to the southeast. We did have a pretty good thunderstorm move over Waco yesterday evening. Brought some hail with it, but that's not the case this morning. The afternoon will be pretty nice. Temperatures in the mid 60s. The clouds will be a little stubborn to get on out of here, and that will keep temperatures lower than they should be this time of year. Our normal is 68. Now overnight, you'd think we'd cool down, but the south winds are going to pick back up again, bringing in that moisture. So we'll wake up with another humid morning out there that will burn off as drier air works in. Southwest winds blow down the terrain. That'll push us into the mid 80s by afternoon, maybe even some low 90s out towards San Saba. Beautiful day coming up for tomorrow, though, if you can get past the breeze. And we have another cold front coming in on Sunday. That one could bring some showers as it passes. Behind it, though, a cooler day setting up for Sunday and a cooler day on Monday as well. We'll warm up again, then another cold front comes in and this is going to be the one we have to watch out for frost or some freeze, and that will be possible early next weekend. 